Tswane MMC for Roads and Transport. Sheila Senkubuche has resigned from her position days after she was placed on special leave. This uh, follows a week characterized by an alleged affair with Tswane Mayor Stevens Mokalapa that uh, was caught on an audio tape. Now, for the very latest, let me bring in the SABC News' Sipo Stirman. Sipo, very good morning to you. What are you learning this morning? Well, a very good morning to you, Blaine, and our viewers at home. Uh, we're coming from Pretoria North here. I'm going to be speaking shortly with the Tswane acting mayor, that is April Tau, who has uh, made time uh, to just offer a bit of clarity uh, as to what is actually happening here in Tswane. There's been a lot of developments, of course. This uh, from last weekend when this uh, Sex in the City audio tape broke out, and uh, of course, um, the allegation there is that uh, the mayor, Stevens Mokhalapa, and uh, Sheila Sonkubuche, uh, you know, were engaged in sexual activity, something that they've subsequently uh, have uh, denied. Uh, but since then, they've been placed on special uh, leave, and uh, both of them uh, were away from office. But then this morning, of course, uh, the MMC then uh, resigned. Now, let me bring in the mayor here uh, to talk about the uh, resignation. Uh, thank you very much, uh, acting mayor. Um, before we get to why you are the acting mayor, let's talk about the MMC who's resigned. Have you received the letter that's been circulating on social media and uh, what do you understand to be the reasons behind MMC Sheila's resignation? Um, good afternoon. Um, oh, it's still morning. Good morning. Um, look, um, yes, we have received the letter that was addressed to us and then indeed um, MMC Sheila Sinkubuche has expressed her desire to vacate office. Um, obviously, given um, uh, the, 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 the developments in the city, like you correctly put it in your intro, um, there's been a lot of speculation and a lot going on and I think that it is a, 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 a sign of or a mark of a consummate professional to want to obviously not hold the city at ransom and want to leave and move on so that um, she obviously can even obviously as um, we will continue to look at what really transpired but I think it's too much for her and I think um, as we would all understand as human beings. Do you understand this to be an admission of guilt over some of the allegations with regards to the tape and some of the activities that we are alleged to have been happening there? Not necessarily that it is an uh, admission of guilt. Look, at the end of the day, we are people who believe in the rule of law and um, due processes. So obviously, this does not um, basically close anything. We will still look at, at, at what transpired and look at what we need to learn from that. And obviously, then we will draw a report. So there's still um, all the processes that need to unfold. And it is by, by no means an admission of guilt. But I think um, our tolerance levels are different as, as people. And I think that it has been very, very heavy to her and her family and understandably so i mean she's still young by by in all intents right. and purposes and for that reason i do understand that um, okay. not an admission of guilt let's move on to another point one of the other allegations is that uh, she was not eligible to have been as part of a Tswane council because she had not yet obtained a south african citizenship but rather she had a permanent residency what do you know about this issue on her eligibility to be part of the Tswane council back in 2016 Look, I have seen um, the allegations and, and I have known that um, there is a member of the public who subsequently laid um, charges with the police um, for the like I said, similar to, to any other issue, I don't think that it is for us to jump um, 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 and put the, the cart before the horse. Um, that still needs to be investigated and we need to get facts around that. So but uh, with all due respect, say, uh, besides being the acting mayor in Tswane right now, you are also the DA original uh, chairperson in North Gauteng uh, here in Tswane. So was not this an issue that you should have been picked up, especially with people that you nominated to be part of uh, the mayoral committee, someone that was being put in a position of being uh, an MMC. Should this not have uh, been something that was looked into uh, before you she was appointed into this position? We are a party that is thorough in its processes and obviously due diligence was, 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 was paid into all the appointments that were made. I mean, all the processes were followed to the T. But obviously, we, we as people as well might be, we, we're not immune to, to, to things falling through. I'm not saying that's what happens. You would appreciate the fact that at the time, I was not the original chairperson, but I'm not passing the bag. It is my responsibility to go back and look into what really transpired. And I would go back and look for the facts and then actually, um, you know, separate fact from fiction. I mean, at this stage, obviously, you can see MMC Sinkubuche has been finding herself in all sorts of um, 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 allegations. Um, um, allegations. And I don't, no one can put it past the fact that she's under attack. Now, right. I'm not going to uh, take that posture, but at the end of the day, you need to, uh, be, to be able to not be emotional about issues and deal with facts. Yeah, but also the, the 
the, the party that put her there needs to also take accountability because if this issue is coming up and it seems to be legit, then it's something that you should have looked at. Yeah, absolutely. And we will um, obviously pronounce on that when the time is right. Let's first get the facts. I think it's important for all of us to be calm and look at the facts. And once we have established facts, we have been a party that believes in transparency. We'll come back and own up where we need to own up. Okay. Now let's talk about uh, the mayor, Stevens Mokhalapa. He's still on special leave. What, what happens to him now? Because his partner in crime, so to speak, in that uh, audio sex tape, uh, alleged uh, sex tape, has resigned. Will he follow suit? Have you been talking to him? Look, I have spoken to the mayor. The mayor is on special leave. He is aware of what um, 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 obviously is transpiring. You would know that I'm only acting. And for that reason, we have had a very close working relationship. Um, the due processes are still unfolding as they should. Like I said in the beginning, to said we are a party of processes. And the last thing that you want is to preempt what the outcomes of your processes would be. But at this stage, obviously, the mayor is still the executive mayor of the city who is on leave and nothing has changed in terms of his status. So he is not indicating that he's going to resign. The mayor of Tswane is not indicating that he's going to resign. Not at all. He said not indicated that he will resign. And I think um, it is a responsible thing to do as a leader to always be um, given a chance, number one, to not allow that um, two processes should not follow. And I think he is cooperating well with the processes as they unfold both internally in the city, as you'd know that the speaker wrote to rules and ethics, as well as um, within the party itself. And then just very lastly, speaking of the speaker there. The speaker, I think it was on Friday, or rather on Thursday, where she disallowed the motion of no confidence against uh, the mayor here in Tswane. Opposition parties, are the, uh, that is the EFF uh, and ANC in Tswane, are taking this matter to court. Uh, what is your reaction over what happened there? Because they feel that the party, uh, the, the speaker took a party line and uh, disallowed this motion, even though it met all the requirements. Look, I have just said the speaker wrote to Rutles and Ethics um, to obviously um, refer the matter um, with regards to the mayor. That tells you of the caliber and the character of the speaker that we have. Now, um, the motion was assessed and it was found wanting in terms of Rule 19 1B. And the speaker then applied um, her mind and obviously um, the reasons that were forwarded for an urgent motion did not meet um, the, the prescript of the law. Okay. And obviously the law can adjudicate in this case obviously we expect that opposition parties will, will will run to court for that but it is their right and we respect that and we'll meet in court with all that has happened Haman Skralwater the mayor scandal MMC resigning should people still have confidence in the DA running Tswane Absolutely. I think um, if there was one administration that has been transparent, it has been the DA administration. We have owned up where we needed to own up. We have really been sincere in how we ran Tswane and we ran Tswane. We have not allowed ourselves to buckle to pressure that comes with obviously um, keeping the public purse safe. I think it's one of the promises that we made in 2016 that we are going to fight corruption, would create jobs and deliver better services. To a greater extent, the situation with the water in Amman's Kral, We've demonstrated how we are turning an age-old situation um, to the benefit of the people of Amanskra. And I think we have kept to our, pro our, our manifesto promises. That is why you see the things you see, because we don't sweep things under the rag. All right. Well, thank you very much. That's uh, Tuane Acting Mayor Abel Tawu. Thank you very much for making time over a weekend. Uh, but of course, that uh, confirming the resignation uh, of uh, the now former MMC of Roads and Transport in Tuane, Sheila uh She stepped down, of course, following... Um, the recent uh, scandal, sex uh, in the city audio tape. She's denied having sexual activity with the now uh, ma with the mayor that's on special leave, uh, Stevens Mohalapa. Of course, also now questions on whether she was eligible to have been part of the Tuane Council. Now the DA is saying that. Uh, that is something they're going to look into and investigate if indeed there was an error there when she was placed uh, in, into the council in Swane and subsequently then uh, she was appointed as an MMC. Lots of developments here in Swane. But uh, the acting mayor, uh, that is April Tau, says uh, all is still in order. People should trust that the DA will do what's best for the people of Swane. We know that opposition parties are approaching court in an attempt uh, to try and remove um, the actual mayor, that is uh, Stevens uh, Mukhalapa, who is on special leave. A special leave that has also been questioned by council who have said that leave uh, is not legal as it was not granted by council. So lots that's happening in, in Tswane and uh, a lot of information will come through as, uh, you know, in the next coming days. And uh, with that, Blaine, it's back to you in studio. Right, uh, Sipo Sirman, live for us in Pretoria. Appreciate your reporting. Your weather's up next. Stand by. I'll get you more news at the top of the hour. Stay with us.